like around here? Yeah. You know, guys have been great. Bye's been great. Coaches have been uh, very good about getting guys prepared. Meetings have gone really well. Uh, I think the energy level, they're excited. They're looking forward to the game. I think they've been handling the day-to-day -day very well. So you know, at this point of the season, um, right now, you're in this game. There's a lot of players right now that are working out that aren't in, the, in playing the game like this. Coaches are on the road recruiting. So I think we're all just excited to be here practicing and preparing for it. To have the opportunity to not just you know be in a championship game, but also to you know play against the team you, you just lost to. And, and you know that, that focus then can be you know, even better, I would assume. But what, what has it been like to have this chance to play against the team you, that you have the chance to get a little revenge on? Well, I think it's unique, the situation that we're in. And uh, because we just played them, the reality of it is, you know, that game is is over. Um, you're on to this week. And, you know, that, guarantee, that the game we played before was a guaranteed game. This one never was. And this is the thing about playing in a championship game. You work towards you know, having this week of opportunity to come out here and play. So we can learn from the previous one, uh, but again, we have to go back to kind of our process and how we prepare and what we do, and uh, no two games are the same. So learn from it and, and do like you would any other game, apply it, and then take it into this week of preparation, and hopefully it shows up, which I think it has, and then go out there and you know, hopefully we're playing a lot better than we played in the last game. And, and that's the case for every game throughout the year. We're just trying to be better every week. I know we've asked you about attendance and stuff in the past, and you say <clears throat> focus on the field and the players and the game and that kind of stuff. But when you have an opportunity to host a championship game, and you obviously want you know you want to take advantage of that uh, you know home field advantage. Uh, sure. Ticket sales are down a little bit right now. What would you say to maybe fans still on the fence? I guess about coming out on Saturday. Well, we, we want everybody at the game, no question. And you know we want to have as much of an advantage as we can. Home field should be that way. So. You know, I know this. I know Bronco Nation, um, they're always fantastic when they're here. I mean, we want like to have this place packed and have our players run out here. And, you know, for the really the last game that a lot of these guys are going to play uh, on the blue and this team in particular, and then to have that advantage against the team we're playing. So no question about it. We, we want everybody here. We want a great atmosphere. Uh, we want to use that to our advantage, which it should be. And, you know, Albertson Stadium, Blue Field, I think there's a lot of reasons why to be here, and, and, the, and this team has earned it. It's earned the opportunity to be in this game. So another chance to come here and, and have people join us and be a part of it. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Surprising, disappointing when you hear that you're at 20,000 tickets sold, you know, for a game that you guys have been wanting to play in all season long. God, you know, I, I, it's a, uh, be honest with you, I'm just not, you know, I'm not over there doing that. So I, mean, I, I really kind of tell now, I don't really know what that is. Now we've got a couple days, so, um, you know, these guys, uh, my focus is obviously here, and we want to take advantage of being in this stadium and having a chance to play in front of our crowd. Uh, but at the same time, our focus is, you know, what we're trying to accomplish. It's always been that way. So these guys deserve it. And this is this football team, we said it early in the year, and I'll say it again. I mean, it has uh, the vibe of this team. This is one of the best football teams that, that I've been a part of since I've been at Boise State as far as the overall um, attitude, uh, the coaches, uh, how everybody has worked, and you know it's certainly a group that, that deserves to come out here and have people um, cheering them on and have the stadium that's packed. You, know, you look at the, 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 the tight ends, and I know you talked about it a little bit earlier in the week, but you didn't have Jake last game, and it looked like Alec got dinged up a little <clears> bit last game, so how are some of those younger guys potentially preparing to, to play bigger roles, and is there anything you're yeah. going to have to do to get a little creative and create some depth, depth there? Well, you know, those guys, that was the last game. You know, the previous players you talked about, they didn't participate, and Alec did, and, and Jake didn't. Um, so, you know, obviously new week. But anytime somebody's out, somebody's going to get more reps. The more reps you get, that's one of the, the unique things about football in particular. You don't know really what you got because the guy's not getting the reps throughout the year. If all of a sudden somebody's out and the guy's getting reps, and pretty soon it's like, this guy's pretty good or he's gaining more confidence and he's becoming better. So I think for those guys who are getting more reps when a guy's out uh, through injury or we're trying to rest a guy, uh, they're just getting better. They're getting better because they're getting more reps. And I think those guys at that position are doing that. Um, Nick Crabtree is available. You know, he's a guy that played tight, came here as a tight end. He's been playing online. He can play tight end. Um, so we have answers from that standpoint, but we also feel good about you know, our depth as well. And, and those guys have, did a good job. They played well in the game and they got opportunities and, and that's just helping them advance and grow uh, at their position. I, I talked with uh, Mason about it a little bit earlier today, but the 2014 championship game here, 
And he said, you know, that, that's something that the, the feeling afterwards, after that game, is something that's always motivated him. So it might be different for players and, and for players and coaches. But what do you remember about that game, and uh, why was it you know, special? I guess. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of that, um, probably the unknown of that season, a little bit, new staff, and you know what was going to happen, and then the opportunity to get into that game. So I think the entire season that led us to that game was obviously one that you know we, we planned for we wanted it to happen we weren't quite sure um, but also that team you know I thought that team had a um, an unselfish characteristic about it you know everybody on that team and they were just out there not knowing either what are we what are we going to accomplish you know the season before wasn't what they wanted and all of a sudden uh, they were working they did it every single week um, they were a team that never backed off and you know, very similar to this, we played the same team twice. You know, and played the same team, uh, just not back to back. So, I thought that group and that game and and uh, being here and, and the atmosphere and you know everybody, you know, at the end of the game being on the field and being a part of it. You know, that's one of the reasons why you come for that opportunity. You know, there's nothing like that. There's a great picture of it. There's a great experience of having everybody out here, fans and players, and you just can't get that. You know, anywhere else. So when guys talk about championships. Uh, it's completely different, you know. That games are our games, but you get a chance to play in a championship. Those are memorable. The all-conference teams came out uh, after we yeah. talked to you on Monday. <clears throat> Do you guys take a moment to celebrate that as a team? We did. Yeah, we actually, uh, and, and we we recognized it, you know. And everybody, they know what the focus is, but we recognized the guys that were on it, and uh, you know the guys that were first team and second team, and you know we got a, a player of the year in Leighton Vanderesh. And you know that's that's a great accomplishment. It says a lot about this football team. Obviously, those are individual awards, but it says a lot about the team. And the best part, all those guys that were on it recognize and understand that. So they're appreciative. Uh, I think the players are appreciative that that some guys on our team got recognized for those honors. Um, and certainly, I mean that's that's part of the game. And we're proud of those guys. And I hope that's motivating for younger players too. That hey. You know, I could be in that position down the road. I could be a guy that, you know, as a first team player, I might be on there and I could be even better. You know, those are the things that, that provide motivation as well. Any clarity on, on Jake? I know you're hoping to maybe hear more. Um, any idea on his status? Yeah. Um, we'll see. I mean, it's a game time decision, as always. So, you know, like I've told you before, not a season ending injury and all that. So, you know, we'll see where he's at.